Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present to you the Tesla coil of the Griffith Observatory. Folks, what does this device have to do with the stars, the galaxy, the cosmos? Well, you're about to find out. But first, a bit about the man behind the machine. His name was Nikola Tesla. He was born in the 1800s and died in the 1900s. He was a man of great intelligence, intellect, and eccentricity. And way back in the day, in the 1800s, he took a small toy boat and set this boat on a body of water. And suddenly, it began to move like magic. This man was experimenting with radio broadcasting and receiving and remote control technology in the 1800s. Well, this wasn't enough for one man one night. He took it one step further and manning a device like you just saw. One night, all alone, he began to receive radio waves from outer space. That thrill must have been something akin to the electricity of the Tesla coil. Imagine the anxiety, entry, and, and excitement of receiving radio waves from an intelligent civilization of the planet Venus. This is what Nikola Tesla surmised. However, we now know that this is impossible. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. 